Hola, mi gente. Joe Barreto back with you at the Credit Card Connection. I'm so glad you can join me. Well, mi gente, you know, now that the spring is in full swing, people are getting ready to go out and do like spring trips, go on spring break, and actually even preparing for summer. You know, I just got back from a trip I did to Florida. It was part business, part personal. But I made sure, and I went over this with uh, my boy Sledge from Sledging Team the other day, on what cards I took like in preparation for this particular trip. So I want to share with you, you want to make sure you carry with you what it is you're going to spend on. And if you're staying anywhere, you want to make sure you have those cards with you and so on. Um, so in this video, I'll go over the cards that I use over the past nine days and the reasons I use them and some that I didn't even get to use. But do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button, mi gente. Trying to get to those 4,000 subs. I could really use your help in getting there. I appreciate you. So let's jump into it. The first card that the moment I'm going to travel is, it never really leaves the wallet. Let's be, let's be clear on that, is the American Express Platinum card. So why the Platinum card? Well, the Platinum card is what gets me the clear membership at the airport. It's the one that I use for car rentals when I um, usually rent from Hertz. See, they seem to be getting me the best deals and, and the best upgrades. And I'm going to go into one of the upgrades in a minute. Um, but it's the card that I have for travel. And I carry it all the time. And on this particular trip, I did put a lot of spend on the car rentals. And I had it just as a backup if anything else, you know, either forgot or whatever. It never fails. And since... The limit is, technically there's no limit, um, high enough for me to buy anything or do whatever I need with it. That's why I always carry the American Express Platinum card. Now, also in my extra wallet, by the way, <laughs> um, in the Parliament wallet that I have here, um, I'm going to plug it a little bit because this wallet actually came in handy on this trip. I was able to carry all my cards, including the one that actually got the most use and that was the American Express green card. Now, I know you're probably saying, bro, that's not the green card. That looks like more of a gold card. Well, it is. It is a card from the Lion card, which again, uh, we spoke about this in a video a couple of weeks ago, but I had this card customized um, you know, with my slogan, Hola Mi Gente, the credit card connection, my name, but then all the information is engraved in the back. So they take the chip off the green card, put it on here, and the strip in the back, and you're good to go. But this was the American Express green card, and this one got a lot of use, especially for dining out and for parking, for tolls, things of that nature, because that's it's really a true travel card as opposed to the gold card, believe it or not, okay? I really didn't go to the supermarket because I'm, I was just out on my own, so... This for dining was huge, and for parking and tolls and things like that was just massive. So I'm expecting a lot of points back on my statement from American Express Membership Rewards Points between that and the Platinum Card. You know, they, I'm going to rack up those points on this particular trip that I did, and that was just for about nine days. So again, the green card, for those of you, if you're planning your trips, if you don't have the gold for $150 a year... Three times on dining, three times on travel, and the categories for travel are huge. Do the American Express green card, and also look at the Lion card. If you want your own customized card, the description is down below in the box. The other card that I took that always just, because I travel United quite a bit, and I have the personal and the business version is the United uh, mileage. This was the business plus. I always carry the personal one just in case as well, but in my mobile wallet. So in my, you know, Apple wallet that I have. But again, I took this because this one got me discounts if I wanted to buy some drinks or food or beverages on the flight. If I needed to do a seat upgrade or change, which I didn't have to do, thank goodness. But this is the card that I used because I was flying on United and I like to have it just in case. Now, one card that... <laughs> You know, don't sleep on this, especially in the first year, okay? In the first year, a Discover It card 
can be invaluable, especially when the categories hit at a time that you're going to use them the most. And in this particular case, the categories for this quarter were home improvement stores, gas, and EV charging. Now, I have a, a, a Tesla, so I charge at home. But on the road, I was lucky with my American Express card. I got an upgrade because of Hertz. I paid for a Mazda 3 sedan, and I came out with a Volvo XC60 hybrid SUV, which was phenomenal on gas. And it was just a beautiful ride, just gorgeous. So that card that I used to gas up was the Discover card. And the Discover card for this quarter was giving the 5%. But because it's in my first year, I'm getting 10% back on the charges. So to gas up, and I traveled quite a bit throughout the state of Florida, I was and the gas was $369 for regular. This card took premium. It was at $419 a gallon or so. So the Discover card, that's where it came through like a champ. I also needed to buy some things for the house at Home Depot and at Lowe's. Again, I was able to get 10% because I'm still within my first year of card usage. So this card really did come through for me. So a card that you would think, hey, you know, um, it's just a cashback card. Yeah, but it got just as much use as the American Express Green and the Platinum did. Now, the last card that I'm going to show you didn't really get... Actually, I have two more to go, but this card... I needed to meet the spend requirements in order to get the points for Hilton. This is the Hilton Surpass. So what I did was if I went, I went to the Harley store, uh, the Harley Destination Daytona store in Daytona Beach, and I always buy some merch and things there and gifts. So I put that here because that was getting me four times back on whatever I spent. So I think I spent like $250. So I got like a thousand, I got a um, thousand points of worth of Hilton points for it. So I always make sure that if I'm on a, if I need to meet the spend requirements on a card, I take it with me because you never know when it's going to come in to a point that it's going to bring you even more outsized value than just meeting the sub. And this one certainly did. So this was the Hilton surpass. And I used this in particular to make purchases at stores because you were able to get up to four times back on that. So this was a great card to have. And then the other card that is always the backup, in my opinion, it was my backup, main backup for the American Express Gold when I had it, but since I no longer have the Gold, it runs neck and neck, and I use it kind of interchangeably with the American Express Green card because the Sapphire Preferred gives me back three times on dining and takeout, and I actually used it um, dining out twice and ordering from Uber Eats at one point because it's also attached to my Uber account. So I used that as well. I could have used a green as well, but I wanted to show this one some love. I like spreading out the spend whenever I do go out, especially if some of the cards have overlap. The reason I do that is it gives me points on both ecosystems. I'm kind of almost 50-50 in, in the number of points I have between American Express and Chase. So I have about 700,000 points with, with membership rewards points with American Express. I'm back up to about 550,000 chase points because I just got the met the spend on another card, which is on another video. But so I try to like split it up if I can between cards, especially if I'm away. This way I know I'm getting points in both categories. If I needed one more than the other, then I would just use those cards more specifically. Like I would have just stuck to Amex. But in this case, I was able to just juggle both. So like I said before, with the American Express Platinum, the cool thing with Hertz was you I paid $346 for a Mazda 3. And to ro roll out with a luxury Volvo XC60 hybrid, which the gas mileage was incredible and the ride was just luxurious if it wasn't for this card and if i didn't have this i would have used the founders card membership i got the hertz presidential circle status which lets you pick from the row of cars that they had there and they offered me a, a number of different cars 
but I wanted something a little bit more comfortable this time, uh, something that was just because I was picking up some friends that I was able to just move around and not do the two door like I did the last time. And this car was phenomenal. So shout out to Hertz again for just giving me the status because I hold this platinum card. So this card got me that. And this card also, I transferred some of the money that they give you annually, the $200 airline fee credit into the United Travel Bank. And with that, I was able to add a uh, club lounge pass that I used when I left Newark Terminal A. That club in there for United is beautiful. And this allowed me to just purchase that through the travel bank. So I just transferred the money in and then I purchased a pass for United. Nice and easy. I didn't have to get the higher level United card to do it. I just transferred the money from the American Express Platinum into that. So I know I rattled off a lot of cards. I just wanted to show you how when you do go away, you should have some sort of plan as to which card you take with you and make sure you know if you can in advance. And I know sometimes things happen, but that you know where you're going to go this way. You can plan that out accordingly. I took with me to give you an example, even though I did not use it, um, two of the Hilton gift cards that I got with the surpass. So they were each $50 gift cards because I wasn't sure if I was going to stay overnight in Tampa. And there were a number of Hilton uh, hotels that I could have stayed at. And I could have used those cards to help offset the cost of that hotel. I didn't use it, but I had them with me just in case because I wanted to see, you know, you might as well have the gift cards, use them. And like I said in my last video where, you know, I, I use my Chase Ultimate Rewards points to uh, put a deposit on my Tesla. What I learned doing that was the points have no value and are useless. And the only way they have value is if you use them. And I've been using them and replenishing them again, as you see, just based on spend. But do yourself a favor when you get ready to go on that spring trip or summer vacation, make sure you pack the right cards with you when you pack your luggage and make sure you stick them all in the extra wallet if you got it. This link is down below. Save 30% uh, on it for the next week or so. But mi gente, as always, I thank you for watching. But most of all, I thank you for giving me the privilege of your time. Until next time, take care.